What's up guys, Beast Anko 6 with the Dernitz Elite Flotilla. Today we're going to talk about the attack disc. Alright, it's this little disc here, you've probably seen it in one of your um, your GUIs you've downloaded. Okay, I use Make Man's Final. And uh, let's discuss it, let's get right into it. Okay, so there's three moving parts to this disc. In Make Man's Final, the outer disc here moves. It moves with my ship. The inner disc, this golden one, does not move. This is the compass rose. It matches the, the map. And then you have a long disc or, or, or pointer. And then you got a smaller pointer. Okay. Now, this longer pointer is my U-boat. All right, there's the bow. And here's the stern. And this long one here, this is your target ship. You have AOB, port side, starboard side. Okay, and what this does is I use it for two reasons. There's many ways to use this. There's a backside to this as well. I don't use the backside. I'm only going to show you what I know. Um, there's two ways I use this disc. One is to find an attack course. Two is to find the actual course of the ship if I only have the AOB. All right, so let's start with attack course. So I know what the course of the ship is, and I want to attack it at a certain degree. All right, so let's just make it simple. Now, as I said before, this outer ring points in the direction of my ship. If you look down here, I'm at 90 degrees. My ship is pointing 90 degrees. And the little white arrow with 180 degrees, I, don't worry about this. This is These are back bearings. We don't have to worry about this here. This white arrow points to 90 degrees. Simple. So I know the target ship is traveling at 90 degrees. So I'm going to put the ship's reticle onto it, onto 90 degrees. Okay. Now, I want to attack the ship. Let's say I want to attack the ship, we'll, we'll keep it simple, 90 degrees um, port, okay? I'm going to take my U-boat um, marker, here's the, here's the bow, this is the port side, I want to attack it at port side. I'm going to turn, bring it down, I'm actually paying attention to the back side here, even though I'm spinning the front. I'm paying attention to the back, and I want to line up to the 90-degree AOB marker on the port side. Boom. There it is. So if he's traveling at 90 degrees, and I want to attack a 90-degree port side on this target, I need to turn, voila, 180 degrees. It's right here. And now, obviously, that's simple math. I'm, for all the older timers there, they, they, they know what I'm talking about. The new guys, you might think, well, that's simple. But let's say, let's, let's make it a little more complicated. Let's say the ship is traveling, you know, some crazy angle. Let's say uh, 215 degrees. All right. And you're one of those crazy guys you like to attack at, uh, let's say, let's say 15 degrees. You want to attack 15 degrees, um, you know, starboard side. Let's do that now. By twos, two, four, so right in the center. Right. You can even do it this way. All right. There you go. So you want to attack the ship at 15 degrees. It's traveling at 215 degrees, but you want to attack it at 15 degrees. So up here, it shows me at about 51, 52 degrees. I have to turn uh, northeast to about 51 degrees in order to attack this boat who's traveling at 215 degrees at 15 degrees angle on the bow. Make sense? I hope so. Uh, it takes a little time to get used to this disc, but uh, you'll get it. So let's go on to the next part. How do we find the course of the ship? All right? Okay. So, good. Reset it here. So I just taught you how to do angle of attack. All right? Very simple stuff. But let's talk about how do we find the course of the ship. All we have is an AOB. If you have an AOB, we can figure this out. Okay. So same thing. I'm traveling 90 degrees as my arrow is pointing. And I'm going to say I have a ship that's uh, bearing, let's say, 30 degrees off my port. Let's do that. I'm going to take my U-boat. All right. I know I'm traveling 90 degrees. 10, 20, 30. So he's traveling three degrees off my port. I'm placing this here as my bearing. 
That's what I care about. Now, at 30 degrees port, I see an angle on the bow of 45 degrees. So I'm going to take uh, on his on his starboard side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move his target ship to 45 degrees. Okay. On the on the starboard side, so that means I have to actually look over here. Just to clarify what I just did here, even though it's pointing this way, I clicked. Whenever you click on the outer ring, the front part of your U-boat marker will change and it'll point to where you click. So what I did was to get this little red line here so I can get a nice accurate reading, I clicked on it over here. So it's like backwards now. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm pointing towards the direction of my 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 bearing, okay, where my my periscope is pointing, if you will. And now I have to look at the ship at the angle that I see it at. It's on the starboard side, 45 degrees. So I have to turn my target's reticle around backwards a little bit. It kind of looks backwards when you first look at it. But it's giving me the exact um, course. Okay? And it's right down here. 195 degrees. The ship at 45 degrees, when it's bearing 60 degrees or 30 degrees to the port, it's 60. He's traveling at 195. All right, it takes a little practice, but you can get a lot of information from this disc. And I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, PM me if you're in the flotilla or leave a YouTube comment. Thank you.